The Department of Natural Resources is making progress on turning two former mine areas into solar fields. Local 3's Melissa Venix has more about where the project currently stands. The former Groveland mine in Dickinson County and the Seven Mile Gravel Pit in Crawford County have been leased to Circle Power Company. Senior Advisor for Wildlife and Public Lands, Scott Whitcomb, says the project has been in the works for about a year. It's their job in the next couple of years to do the research necessary to put it on the grid, um, to do um, any necessary studies, um, you know, environmental impacts, uh, to make sure the ground is suitable. All of those things um, have to have to go in, in place before this project will succeed. Jordan Roberts, managing partner of Circle Power, says they've already begun some preliminary work. We've done a bunch of desktop work. Uh, we've had people visit the sites on more than one occasion. And what, what, what this work really is, it's sort of preliminary survey work. Um, and it's just giving us a, more acquainted with the features on the site. Um, and you know what challenges might be ahead. Whitcomb says the former mines are a good fit for the project because of existing infrastructure and its lack of competing uses like forest management or high wildlife values. They've had industrial use in the past and so um, that's that's something that's generally compatible um, with the site. The other one is because they've been used for energy generation, oftentimes there's utilities already on site. Roberts says it's hard to say for sure how much energy will be produced now, but they are excited about the project. We are very excited to be working with the DNR. We think this is a great opportunity both for, you know, um, folks um, that, you know, Live in, the, live in the areas of these projects, as well as a great opportunity for the state. It's very, the concept I think just makes you know, sense of uh, taking disturbed land that's not being used and utilizing it for something really good. Whitcomb says they hope to look at other sites across the state to try it again if the project is successful. Reporting from the studio, I'm Melissa Venix, Local 3 News.